It's often argued that referendums can slow the political process and disrupt the government's overall strategy. Wouldn't that be bad for society? Well, that assumes that the overall strategy is a bulletproof one that can never ever be wrong. And in most cases, governments are not, they don't know everything. Sometimes it's good that they, they pause to think. Uh, in some countries, they uh, said that it would be impossible to, to have any kind of energy policy without nuclear power. That was in Sweden in the early, in the late 70s and early 80s. Uh, and the, the people in Sweden weren't terribly keen on, uh, on nuclear power and nuclear energy. Uh, so there was a referendum that basically stopped that in its tracks. And the Swedes and the Swedish government, of course, find a different way of deal dealing with it. Similarly, in Uruguay, in, um, in early, the early 90s, uh, the IMF said that you have to introduce these austerity measures, your economy is going to go bankrupt, you have to follow a neoliberal economic, uh, political philosophy. But the people of Uruguay weren't, weren't convinced by that, so they voted no to that. And, of course, Uruguay has done pretty, pretty splendidly ever since. The, the people sort of say, well, hey, wait a minute, you've gone too far and we don't like that. So the, the power to say no, which essentially is what the referendum, as opposed to the initiative, is all about, the power to stop governments in their tracks, have, have not necessarily, in fact, rarely uh, disrupted the overall governability of a society, and sometimes it actually made it better. I, I don't think that's the case, that they do slow things down. Certainly not. In the US, where you have these very many divisions between checks and balance and so on, and oftentimes the, the whole system of government is designed, in fear at least, is designed not to move very fast. And so in that sense, um, initiatives can actually prod things along and move them faster than they otherwise would. The, the other one is, you know, this idea that there's an ideal tempo of government. I, I don't know what that is or how we would tell it. But uh, what I do think is the case is that in principle, direct democracy can kind of unblock government when it's moving too slow. It's true that you, you can derail government. I'm, I'm thinking the nearest that you get to kind of derailing government plans might be the European referendum. We saw in a couple of countries, Ireland, for example, a referendum on the European process and, and voters put the brakes on. And so the governments had all these plans for greater integration and so on and so forth. And voters had this, hold on a minute, we're not ready to go there yet. So they can throw a span in the works, it's true that they can do that. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's their government.